So if you've watched my YouTube channel before, you've heard me say learn from your mistakes, right? Don't treat them as failures, treat them as learning experiences. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you all about how I had to learn from an experience that I just put myself through that cost me around $4,500 for one of the clients that I'm doing some campaigns for. So stay tuned and we'll talk about that in this video. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Jordan Steen, serial entrepreneur. And if you're new to this channel and you're all about social media marketing, digital marketing, starting a personal brand, or you're running an agency or a business that deals with any of those things, then you need to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in the bottom right hand corner of this video so you get updates to all of our future training, giveaways, and everything else we do here at Serial Entrepreneur. Now, one of the most common mistakes that business owners make in this industry is dealing with billing and pricing and things of that nature. And just so happens that a couple of weeks ago, almost about a month ago now, I made that same issue myself due to the fact that I rushed through things and I kind of tried to make some last minute changes and it ended up costing me around $4,500. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Oh, and make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video so I'll teach you how you can get access to our social media marketing agency budgeting template that we've put together that kind of helps you with the financial side of things so you don't lose out on money yourself. So invoicing clients and building the proposals and setting your pricing in the pricing package that you put together for them is really one of the most important things that you know happens when you start to put together your business and land clients and the reason why is because those actions and those steps that you take to either pitch your proposal put it together or invoice the client determine if you get paid properly right so let's talk about a little bit about what I did that kind of messed everything up but to take care of cash flow guys and to make sure that your business succeeds you have to start to develop some sort of revenue stream right and so if you're wondering you know the pricing and how that kind of works with your your agency then check out this video we put together as always in the top right hand corner and that will talk to you about pricing for your agency so guys using software is something that we definitely take advantage of here at serial entrepreneur and with rest and bar marketing and it's because of the fact that it makes everything a lot easier number one it's gonna track that revenue when it comes in and number two it tracks any uh, documentation that goes along with it like the invoice things like that so that's the cool thing about QuickBooks when you get it set up all you have to do is go in, set up a new customer create an invoice for that customer set up your products inside of QuickBooks and then you can just invoice customers every single month it sends them an email they go into the email and they can actually click a link which will allow them to pay your business right so if you're wanting to learn or not learn but check out the QuickBooks platform that I use because there's several different ones based on whether you're a small medium large size business this business this platform pretty much works for just about any small to medium sized business so check in the description below for that QuickBooks link you'll definitely want to use that when it comes to taking on revenue and you know ultimately managing any kind of financial decisions or uh, main managing the tracking of those financial purchases or revenues. So quick question, have you ever invoiced a customer improperly or charged them the wrong amount for a service or undercharged or overcharged or something like that? If you have, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know what happened with you. So I know we kind of jumped around a bit, a little bit, but that's okay. Let's talk about what happened with me. Essentially what I did was I charged a client around $175 per blog article, right? And that was going to be for 10 blog articles per month. So roughly $1,700. $150. Well, he talked me down to $1,500. And what I actually ended up doing was before I went in, I made some adjustments to the price to add, make it a little higher than what I really wanted to come down to if we had to bargain, um, which is actually what ended up happening. But when I did that, I forgot to multiply the blog price times three and I left it in at only the one month rate because I was looking at the proposal to build the rate package in the budgeting plan, right? And so that kind of messed me up. I didn't calculate for three thousand dollars worth of revenue which is what that would have been would have been a little more if we stayed at the seven 175 rate but we knocked it down to 150 per blog um, so that's again three thousand dollars plus it's still going to cost me about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars 
because I still owe that guy blogs. He's under the impression he's getting 30 blogs and I'm not the type of business owner that's going to commit to something and then take it away because I made an error. So I'm going to have to give him probably $1,000 to $1,500 worth of blog content that has to come out of my pocket. So not a really great thing. And it all came down to the fact that I tried to rush or redo things that I already had set in place and probably would have been fine. Um, but ultimately, I knew that I wanted to raise the price. So you, know, you make errors, you make mistakes, things happen. The key, the key thing that I did was I learned from this mistake. I said, okay, well, you know, Jordan, you need to make sure that you have the proposals done at least 48 hours in advance. Now, if you, you know, if you can 100% help it, you need to have them done at least 48 hours in advance where you don't touch them. And you need to spend an hour reviewing. I don't, I'm the type of person that once I finish something, I hate doing the review process. And so I know that I need to spend at least 30 minutes to an hour reviewing that, that proposal and looking at the pricing, making sure everything lines up and, you know, really just reassessing everything to make sure that I'm including everything that needs to be in that package. So if you're wanting to know other mistakes that a lot of business owners make when starting their agency, and how you can avoid them. These are seriously some of the biggest things or issues that people uh, make when they're starting up their agency. Check out this video in the top right hand corner. But that's it for me, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And don't forget if you are new to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates to all of our free content, our free training and everything else we do here. Oh, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if this video helped you. And since you stayed till the end, if you're wanting that budgeting template, make sure to check right below this video. It'll be the top link at the very top of the description. And you can just click that link and get the budgeting template it for yourself. So I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Bye guys. Ready to start living the six figure work wherever be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.